Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial for Xtool P2. Today we will show you how to replace the laser tube. To do this, we'll need the following things. A plier, a 1.25 liters, 43 ounces, bottle, a 500 milliliters, 17 ounces, bottle fully filled with purified water, a hose that is about 1 meter long and 1 centimeter in diameter, a hex screwdriver, a funnel some tissue paper. So basically, we need to remove the upper rear cover, replace the laser tube, and put everything back. In the following part of this video, we will break it down for you and provide step-by-step -step instructions. First, power off the machine, and remove the power cable. Make sure it's safe. Remove the 5 hex screws on the upper rear cover. Lift the front lid and remove the 6 hex screws on the rear plate from inside the machine. Stick your finger into the gap between the two metal cases and pull it up from left to right to remove it. Turn and take off the cap of the water tank for the antifreeze. Put the 1.25 liters bottle on the ground so we can pour the antifreeze into it later. Fill two-thirds of the hose with the water prepared in the 500 milliliters bottle. Block one end of the hose with your thumb and put the other end into the tank. Put the hose into the tank and push until it touches the bottom. Point the end of the hose blocked by your thumb to the mouth of the bottle and release it. The antifreeze in the tank will be sucked out due to the siphon effect. Now, we need to remove the laser tube holder. Take off the hose from the hose holder. Remove the screw at the front side of the laser tube holder. Remove the screw at the back side. If you use the screwdriver that comes with our tool pack, you need to pull the shaft out to make it longer, or take off the shaft and put it into the hole. Then put the handle back on to turn. Remove the other tube holder in the same way. Take off the red silicon rubber cover on the left side. On the left end of the laser tube, there is the positive pole. Use the metal part of the screwdriver as a bridge. Connect the positive pole screw in the machine's metal case to discharge the laser tube. Unscrew the positive pole cable and take off the inner rubber cover. Unscrew the negative pole cable on the right end of the tube. You may want to turn the hose clamp so it won't block the screwdriver. Remove the hose from the left side of the tube. Block the hose with some tissue paper. Lift up the positive pole of the laser and have the antifreeze in the tube flow into the tank. Turn the clamp and remove the hose on the right. Block this hose with some tissue paper as well. Pull the laser tube a bit to the left and take off the cushion rubber cap. 
Take out the tube and get the new one ready. Take off the protective rubber. Remove the protective seal and check if the outlet lens is clean. If not, you can clean it with a dust-free cloth with alcohol. Put the cushion rubber cap on the new tube. Put the new tube into the machine. Mind the direction of the poles. Put the inner rubber cover on the new tube and screw the positive pole cable back on. Connect the hose to the laser tube. Use the plier to adjust and put on the clamp. Put the silicon rubber cover back on the laser tube. Next, install the hose on the right end of the tube in the same way and screw the negative pole cable back. Fit the cushion back on the laser tube holder. Push the tube to the right until the cushion rubber cap is firmly fixed. Put the holder firmly on the tuber. Make sure the hose holder faces the front. Screw the laser tube holder back in. Now we need to screw the rear plate from inside the machine the way we unscrew it. Put the hose back into the holder. Make sure this hose holder on the right side of the tube faces the back of the machine. Put the laser tube holder back on. Pour the antifreeze from the bottle back into the tank. But don't fill the tank full at the moment, leave some space. Put the tank cap on. Plug the power cable in, and start the machine. Wait for the antifreeze to circle into the laser tube. When the flow is stable, power off the machine. Pour the rest of the antifreeze into the tank. The water level of the antifreeze needs to be close to the cap. If there is not enough antifreeze, please refer to the quick start guide that comes with the machine to make more. Fasten the tank cap. Put the upper rear cover of the machine back on. Screw the 5 hex screws back in. Open the lid and screw the 6 hex screw back in. Now it's done. One thing worth mentioning here is that since the laser tube is replaced, the laser path might get affected and need a recalibration. If so, please refer to our video tutorial on how to adjust the laser path. Thanks for watching, we hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our customer support.